Hey everyone, and this is going to be the Dreaditorial. I just wanted to kind of go off the cuff here and talk about uh, something on YouTube that's been bothering me since I've basically since I've started the show and it has apparently been bothering a lot of other people, big and small, and it's sort of boiled over at this point into the the WTFU, the Where's the Fair Use campaign that was started recently by uh, Doug Walker, the Nostalgia Critic at Channel Awesome. Uh, Adam of Your Movie Sucks, Alex of I Hate Everything, uh, and Brad Jones, who is also part of Channel Awesome, but is a pretty big deal in his own right. A lot of other people have been jumping in and getting behind this campaign to present to, to YouTube kind of a unified face of their content producers who are more or less fed up with the current state of the system, and that system is the Content ID system. Now, I don't want this video to be too long, and there are people, if you follow the WTFU hashtag or search that on YouTube on Twitter, that get way more into detail and are way more knowledgeable about how it works, but the, the short and skinny of it is that there's a system in place that is supposed to classify YouTube as what's called a safe harbor under the DMCA and basically keep them from being sued and keep everybody from being sued. But it's a it's and it's a system that allows copyright owners to supposedly police infringing use on YouTube. So people that upload every episode of a TV show or people that will upload an entire movie and put it on YouTube, that's supposed to be the sort of content that gets caught by content ID. You know, wholesale, nothing to add copyright infringement. But People, people like Channel Awesome, people like uh, I Hit Everything, people like Your Movie Sucks, people like Cinema Sins, film analysis, like every frame of painting is fair use, even though it's a show made up entirely of clips from somebody else's movie. And we're all caught being hit by these automated claims that are made almost randomly by anybody because there are absolutely no repercussions for making a false claim. If you have a gaming channel, if you have any channel, anybody who is on the other side of the YouTube Content ID system can make a claim against any one of your videos. And YouTube does absolutely nothing to, to verify or validate any of this. Since I've started Modern Horror, I've had claims on almost every single video that I've put up, and a lot of the claims haven't been made on on movie footage. I've had claims made when I did the Halloween special uh, two years ago. I had claims made on intertitles in the trailers. I had claims made on studio logos in the trailers. I was using all promotional content in that video, and I was using none of the audio from it. I was just using the video. I've had claims uh, made on my own voice. I had a claim made on a voiceover. It was a clip of the movie, and when you get this claim, you can tell whether or not it's audio, video, or audio, video. And I had an audio claim on my voice. Someone else somewhere decided that they owned my voice. And YouTube let them put this claim in, and that put me legally under the gun for this. Uh, I've had claims made on, on other videos against 20 second clips of me sitting on on the modern horror set on the sofa. Just my face. <laughs> so I mean, somebody somebody told YouTube and YouTube went along with it that they had a legal right to this. Why would anybody want that? It boggles my mind. But I was on the hook for that. And if I hadn't, you know, I, I would basically have to admit that I either had to fight it for two months or admit that my face is violating somebody's copyright, that it's not mine. And that is an absurd situation to be in. You know, it's obvious from, from stuff like that. It's random. Anybody can make random claims on any part of anyone's video and they're in the right for YouTube. But here's the thing. Everybody who's put up something underneath the, everybody who's put up something behind this campaign, none of us are going to stop doing what we're doing. We're all going to keep making the shows we're making because 
We're doing it because we want to. I don't need to do this. I have a great job somewhere else. I'm doing this because it's fun. I started Modern Horror because I wanted to go on YouTube and talk about horror movies. I wanted to prove to everybody that modern horror movies don't have to suck. So I wanted to point out the good ones. Uh, and I think that's still a great thing to do. And I want to put those movies out and talk about them and say the ones that I liked, say what they did well and poorly. And the ones that I didn't like, say what I thought they could have done to make them more interesting movies. I have a positive show. And I want to go out there and I want to talk to other people that have positive ideas like that. But I want to do it without the threat of being sued constantly hanging over my head. So that's that's the question that we all have. Where's the fair use, YouTube? Cheers, folks.